understand that it is the place of healing. It is the place of breakthrough. It is a place where they get an opportunity to give back to God what he's given to them. So many people show up on Sunday morning for very different reasons. Amen. But I don't get caught up in the reason as to why they show up. As long as they show up, if I preach the word long enough, if I preach the word hard enough, amen, if I inspire them, then pretty soon they're going to come for the right reasons. Amen. So when I understand that when I come into the house of the Lord, I come here on a mission. And that mission is not going to be thwarted by whoever is there. Because God didn't give them the mission, but he gave me the mission. And I refuse, amen, to let God down. Why do I refuse to let God down? Because he didn't let me down. When I was out there doing what I wanted to do, wasn't even thinking about it, he didn't let me down. When I was out there, amen, not thinking about him, amen, he didn't let me down. If he had to wait on me, why shouldn't I wait on him? I came here on a mission. The scripture plainly tells us that I will bless the Lord. And, and let's go back and it says, I. I. In other words, it's a personal choice. You can't look for somebody else to bring you in the presence of the Lord. You need to come with yours built in. Amen. They are leading you. But you got to be first willing to follow. Amen. It's not for them. Amen. To pump and to pride you because you can't. I will. It's an active choice that you make the moment that your eyes open and you find out that your tongue is not glued to the roof of your mouth. You make a choice that I will. Goes on to say I will is a conscious choice. So we make a choice to praise. We make a choice to worship. We make a choice to do everything that we do. I will what will I do? I will bless. In other words, I have the choice of what comes out of my mouth. I have the choice of what it is that I feel the atmosphere with. But it says in Psalm 34, I will bless the Lord. Now here's the thing that blesses my heart. Is that I'm going to bless the Lord. Not when I got money in my pocket. Not when I got the mansion over there in the acreage. Not when I'm driving what I want to drive. But I will bless the Lord at all times. Now I love, I love illustrations and many people will know, know, know me. I know I love illustrations so you, you ain't getting out of here with that one. <laughs> Look at the neighbor and say, I need that. 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 Amen. Amen. Missionary, would you come? Missionary, would you come? Sister Serena, would you come? All right. I want Sister Serena in the middle, and I want y'all to put your arms together around her. She's in the middle. All right. It says, I will bless the Lord at all times. Okay? This is God. Oh, Jesus. And the way that we can trap him is with our praise and worship. Yes. Come on. In other words, I will bless him at all times. When it's going good, I will bless him. When it's going bad, I will bless him. See, what the enemy is trying to do is create a cheek in your arm. He's trying to find a place where you won't praise God. And then what it, what it means is that he got an entryway. But if you praise God when it goes bad, if you praise God when it goes good, if you praise God when you got enough money, if you praise him when you don't have enough money, what you have done is you have surrounded him. He's boxed in by your praise. Because nothing is coming out of my mouth but praise. I will not change my testimony. I will not change my praise by the circumstances that I'm going through. Because the circumstances are just like the weather. They are subject to change. But no matter what, oh Jesus, that's good. I'll say that holy on something. But no matter what the weather is on the outside, when you come into a building like this, if it's hot on the outside, you can change the temperature.
yourself and make it cold. If it's hot, cold on the outside, you can change the temperature and make it warm. So what am I saying? That you can change the atmosphere of your situation no matter what's going on on the outside. And then because she surrounds herself with praise, she controls the temperature. I will bless the Lord at all times. And if we ever had that mindset, the moment that we enter into those doors, we know what would happen. Yeah. That when I step in here, I know what I've been going through at home. Yeah. I know what things have fallen apart on my job. I know I just got a pink slip. I know they're about to foreclose on my house. But when I come here, I'm about creating. And it's so good that you can tell, you can tell yeah. that if you came from outside the moment that you walk into the sanctuary, you feel the difference in yes, the temperature. Yeah. Instantly. Y'all ain't got it. Y'all ain't got it. Yeah. Instantly. Yeah. Yeah. Hear what I'm saying? Instantly. Yeah. Hear me? Instantly. Yeah. In other words, God wants to do a suddenly in your life if you would only have the mindset the will and the heart to create an atmosphere. And then when you walk from one place to the other, he does it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So what we want to do then is we want to box him in. That no place that he looks, he won't see praise. <laughs> Amen. That when he's looking for a worship, he says, if I turn this way, oh, they praise him. If I turn this way, they praise him. If I try to get out this way, they praise him. You got him not sin. I will bless the Lord at all times. And praise shall come continually. Be in my mind. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Come on, all y'all. Thank you for having me. Peace. If praise is continually in your mouth, look at the neighbor and say, this is good. If praise is continually in your mouth, you ain't got room for nothing else. That's it. That's it. I'm going to do like that. Let that marinate for a minute. If praise is continually in your mouth, you don't have room for anything else. Well, that sounds good, Pastor. So, if you say you are a worshiper, if you say you're born again, you say you say you say you are a praiser, and the moment that we get on the church steps, I don't hear praise. She shouldn't have wore that dress this Sunday. That means praise didn't fill your mouth. But if I bless him and praise is continually in my mouth, then I've always got something good to say. I've always got life to speak to you. I will bless the Lord at all times. I make a conscious choice, a conscious decision to fill my mouth with praise because I know that the moment that I begin to open my mouth, the Bible says plainly that he inhabits the praise of his people. So if I want God to show up, all I got to do is open my mouth. The reason that God is not finding himself in the midst of our situation is because we are suffering in silence. Sunday after Sunday we come and put on our church face, our big Bible, that funeral home fan. <laughs> As if things are okay. When you know you need a breakthrough and a release. Yes, and the reason that it happens and you suffer in silence is because you're sitting on your breakthrough. Hallelujah. God has said, I placed it there even before you got there. But before you, because you are so preoccupied with everything else, you won't see that I put it right where you 